Hey everyone, this is John. I'm doing a video inspection here for Clint who set in his cool charger with a serial number of PD43535. It's a BD11A. To help you out, hopefully you can see that. The serial number right in there. I'll move it up and down. Hopefully that helps out. But the reason why I'm showing you this is this one has had a uh, previous repair, and uh, not only that, but done incorrectly. Uh, the bearing has exploded out the back. And if you can see, somebody has ground on this to try to hide or mask that damage, but it's bowed out even again, and it's just about to come loose. Okay? So, why this happened, you hear me lecture quite a bit about using incorrect bearing types. And, and this can cause that. If the bearing were to fail because of uh, incorrect type as far as dealing with temperature or RPM or the type of grease, it'll explode out the back or inside the supercharger. Now, uh, the other thing is somebody left this maybe too long with bad bearings and, and then it failed and exploded out too. So that I can't uh, prove at this point because uh, the evidence of that is now gone. Now if you look over here on the impeller side, you, if you look in there you'll see a groove. There's actually a groove. Uh, there should be a lip here, but basically it raises up, goes over, then drops down, then goes over, and then you have the side bearing wall. So what's happened is that bearing was spinning in here and that's usually what happens when you have bad bearings or somebody tries to uh, run a cheaper $5 bearing in there and, and it can't take the RPM. Now the other thing is this area is all cut out in here. So that tells me at some point there's a spacer on these. At some point that spacer came loose and oblonged itself for so long, whoops, sorry, can't see it, oblonged itself for so long that it actually wore a hole that big in the screw. Now this damage won't really hurt anything long term wise, but uh, watch what happens here. See this repair? I just want you to see how good it really is. Okay, now imagine if that came off with the impeller in here and all that shrapnel came loose, where is it going to go? It could go into somebody's five or ten thousand dollar engine and then you got a pile of junk. So it's not worth it to put five dollar bearings in into these superchargers because you're just going to kiss your motor goodbye at some point. So this is a good example. Now the impeller shaft has been repaired. Somebody's uh, actually done a pretty good repair on it. While that's great, it's unusable. Anytime you see silver areas on an impeller shaft like this on the cog, where it's all shiny, it's pretty much junk. And this one has really reached that point. It's just in really rough shape. So it needs a new one of those. Now the impeller shaft is pretty good. They escaped damage with it. Hasn't rubbed all the way around, so we're good to go with that. The volute has minor rubbing from the bad bearings, but actually none of it is grooved, and it can be polished out. We'll just take maybe a thousandth off there, and there shouldn't be any issues. Just shim up the impeller a little different, okay? You can see that the impeller was rubbing just ever so slightly. And of course here's the bearings. Now these, this is the correct bearing here so I can't criticize that at all. There's hardly any grease in them. They've ran sideways, at least that one has. That's ran sideways because I can tell. But here might be why it is running sideways. This is actually down to 23.8 millimeters, should be 24.9 and uh, or better, and that's why that bearing has failed. On the other side, it has to be almost pressed on, okay? So that's junk. So now you're up to the two shafts are junk, the case is junk, your bearings are shot, 
while the bearings look fairly young, I've already inspected them. They're shot and they're the wrong type. Somebody just used a $5 steel roller. So the only thing you really have good in this whole supercharger is a front cover, which we which just needs a seal. It's rubbed, but it's in great shape. The bearing housing's in great shape, specs out, and the the volute. And uh, so, again, this is probably a good example of why not to use five dollar bearings in your rebuild. Oh, and uh, Clint, your and pulley looks in great shape, though, so you should be good to go there. Just needs slight honing on the inside. Somebody's pounded it on and kind of roughened it up. That can be polished out. So. All right, thank you.